Hi. So in the previous section, we, we talked about the model and data access. In this section, we are going to talk more about how to edit, delete, and create uh, data in our store. So we are going to do this by making a uh, store manager controller. And we can go ahead and add it. So con clicking controller, add controller. MVC5 controller with views using NT framework here. Just click add. And for the model pass, take it to be item. And here is the database to be shopping store entities. And make here the name to be. Just take this store manager. Click add. So we are taking advantage of the scaffolding mechanism in ASB.MVC. Uh, it created for us the store manager controller here, this one, and it also created for us a folder right here, store manager, and it created for us all these create, delete, and detail HTML pages. Uh, so one thing to remember though is this code was uh, generated for us we are expected to uh, modify it so let's go ahead and modify here the index in the index.html let's delete here the item URL as we don't need the user to see the item URL and let's delete here also this one now let me show you how this works let's just run it So as you can see here, it, it showed us the uh, items that we have in our store. It showed us the speakers here, the lamp, and if we click like edit, we get the category ID. We can choose whichever category we have. What is the producer ID? Uh, like we can choose the producer actually, not just producer ID. We can just make it producer. But all right, you get the point actually. Uh, here's the name of the uh, thing that we want. We can change the name the price and if we want to create a new one we can just take the category here producer a title a price item art URL so you get the picture now so let's take a look at the store manager controller again So as you can see here in the store measure controller, in the index method, uh, it receives us a list of items, which one which, uh, with its category, the producer, uh, the same thing as we did before in the store controller, and also for the details method, following the same pattern here. So I'll go through with you for the create. So you can find it uh, quite similar to the other methods here, like edit and delete relate to, the, to what I'm gonna say so let's start by looking through the create method here so let's start with our create method here so as you can see here when we go here and create new you see a uh, drop down list here from the category we can choose which category and uh, which producer and you see here all of those are empty so this, this is like an HTTP get um, request to the server so it shows us the uh, categories that we have the producer that we have and if we like put here like something else like um, like a title here like a uh, new speaker so and price here too an item URL, whatever uh, and let's press create so what is this happening it's making a post uh, HTTP post request to the server as you can see here, it was already done here. So the ASB MVC uh, is really um, convenient about this because it, may, it allows us to have two create methods for the uh, HTTP uh, get and HTTP post. As you can see here, there is a attribute here for the HTTP post uh, method for the create uh, for the create here. And as if we look here, we can see like the view back. Uh, category ID, 
Uh, we actually used uh, the view bag earlier, uh, but uh, we haven't talked much about it. So the view bag uh, basically allows us to pass information to the view without using a strongly typed model object. So as you can see here in the action method code, three parameters are being used to create the, uh, this object. Uh, here, the list of uh, items uh, of the, of the drop-down list will be displayed, uh, and the other one, the next parameter, elected value, and here is the name uh, of that uh, value. So now let's take a look at the uh, view here to see how that works. So if we go to create here, so as you can see here, here is our create HTML page. And here is our drop-down list. It shows us from the category ID. Now let's go to the store manager for our controller again. It's just, yeah. Let's close actually all of those. All of those. Yeah, and as you can see here, as the store, as the post uh, method for the create, it does us three things. It, uh, it reads the four values. And it checks if the values are valid, would save the changes, and show uh, shows them back to us. All right. So what is this binding thing here? So when the controller action is processing a form submission that includes values for category ID, producer ID, drop-down list, and text box uh, values for title, price, and item URL, well, it's possible to directly access form values. A better approach is to use the model binding, which uh, is basically when a controller action takes a model type as a parameter, uh, the MVC will attempt the SP MVC will attempt to populate an object of that type using form in input as well as um, uh, root query string values. It does this by looking for values whose names match properties of the model. Let's say, for example, when setting the new item object category ID value. It looks for an input with the name category ID. When you create views using the standard method in ASB MVC, the form will always be rendered using property names as input field names. So this, uh, so this is the field names will uh, will just match up. All right. So for our validation here, we haven't added any validation rules yet for uh, our item class, but uh, if the if we when we add this in the next section, and if the user inputs uh, some data and it passes the validation, so uh, in uh, in Super framework all it all we need to do is to add this item and to save the changes. Just right here, just uh, just plain simple. And let's take a look at the edit here. And as you can see here, the edit also have a uh, an, a get and a both method for the uh, edit. So if the user uh, have no ID, so ID is null, it's a, it's a bad request. So if we go ahead and like run, let's just build this one. And let's run it. So let's say, for example, here, let's get into edit. So if we do this and like delete this one, it shows us a bad request. This is just here, right here. Show this a bad request, but it, if it does uh, have an ID, if, it, if it's not null, so uh, it will show us the uh, category name and ID for that item. As you can see here, if we want to edit, so we can do the the post method. We can get into if the if uh, the rules uh, for the validation passes. So let's uh, make the modification and save the changes. And then we can just uh, return the view of that item. So for our delete method here, we also are checking if the ID is null. We show a bad request. And uh, if it's the right uh, ID, we can just make the if we check with the user for the confirmation of the delete. And we remove the item from the database and save changes. And then return back to the index page. And if we like delay this one here, and we press delete, it's here, it's returning us to our index page here. So yeah, this, uh, that's it for this section. 
Hope you guys enjoyed and learned. And if you have any question or any problem, just let me know. I'll try to answer them all. Uh, thank you and see you in the next section.